Okay, so here's how you add links in a game. First, I'm going to just show you what my links do. In this instant, uh, when I grab that coin, and I can see I can't go any further, but I see there's a coin there, so I jump up on here, and I jump straight up, and oh look, that opened that one, and then that one, open that one, and I can escape and pick up all those coins. How do you do that? Here's how you do it. Um, you have this button called the link, it's the link tool. If you hover your mouse over it, click it, there you go. It shows the links. Um, by the way, to move things, you hold down uh, V, oops, Control Z. You're gonna hold down this, this tool here, the move tool, and that will move your screen so you can sort of see. Um, I click on the link tool. By clicking on the little play symbol, that's the triangle pointing to the right, you can delete it. Um, and I'll show you what my screen looked like without those links, okay? So then I'm gonna hit play so you can see. So now this time, it's nowhere near as challenging because I don't have to pick up those coins, but I want my players to pick up the coins. I want that to be an important part of the game. So to make it so they need to do that and do the thing you want them to do in the game, you need to add some, some way to make it harder or more challenging. Now you could put the coins up higher so that they have to jump on the platform. Um, in this case, I'm linking, I click and drag, and then I'm gonna click and drag, so now when they get this coin, it's gonna make this appear, so I'm gonna click and drag to that container, and then I'll click and drag from this coin to that, so that they have to make them appear, and then you'll see that they will all appear. And there's your basics for linking in Sploder. Hope that helped.